Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Adnan Kurban today I am going to show you how to create a windows application in C sharp in this application I will show you how to create a database actually an SQL database and uh, I will also tell you how to define the connection string of that database in the app.config uh, app file and uh, uh, I will also tell you how to retrieve that connection string from the app.config file so let's begin create uh, uh, go to actually click on file then click on new and click on project to create a new project uh, from here you will see it's like that uh, click on visual c sharp actually we are working in c sharp so click on c sharp click on this error and you will see windows click on windows form uh, and uh, you can change the name of the uh, your project name of your project we will say it um, creating db and app config and uh, this is the name of the solution in which uh, your project uh, will be located uh, we will name it as um, practice click on ok and it will create a project for us uh, here you can see that we have a form 1 here in the solution explorer you will see the solution name as well as the project name that we have created form 1 is uh, inside this solution and uh, this project now what we have to do is uh, we will create a database an SQL database uh, so in order to do that uh, go to your project right click on it and uh, then click on add and click on add new item you can also use the shortcut key click uh, control shift a just click it and uh, you will see the list of items from here you have to select service base database or you can go to data and from here you can select the service base based database uh, name the database uh, if you want to change the name you can change it from here and uh, after that click on add button and uh, a database will be added in our data connections just a minute okay here you can see that we have database one added in our data connections just uh, right click on it and click refresh to refresh that database now if you wanted to create uh, tables uh, or store procedures tables store procedures or any kind of uh, things you can do it here just uh, like that uh, click on tables uh, and add new table in this way you can add uh, as many tables as you want similarly you can create store procedures by selecting the store procedure and right clicking on it and doing that it is taking some time ok here you can see that uh, this is the uh, actually command uh, view of the process of creating table you can see that create table tbo dot table this is the name of the table that you wanted to create you can change it just uh, type the name that you want like I use I'm typing practice table and uh, here will be the name of the columns uh, that would be that will be included in your table you can add uh, name I will just type with the uh, n watch r null and uh, similarly you can uh, name as many columns as you want and then click on update button and uh, it will promote you and they will show you this window and uh, here is you can see highlights none and uh, practice table is the name of our table and uh, just click on update database and it will update your database here you can see that update is complete that means uh, you have created your table just cross it and uh, refresh that database and just click on it and you will see your practice table so in this way you can create table as well as you can also st create store procedures uh, right click on and uh, add new store procedure click on add new store procedure and uh, the store procedure will be created uh, and so on well what we are doing is uh, 
we have we are going to define our connection string in uh, in our app.configure file this is app.configure file uh, if you click on it you will see where it is inside this file okay uh, now you must be wondering where to get the connection string just right click on your database and click on properties and you will see the properties window in this window you will see a uh, connection string heading just double click on the right side of it and then uh, right click on uh, to select all and then right click on it and click on copy this will copy this whole connection string now what we have to do is mm, go to config app dot configuration file you can see it from right there app configure file now type the following command as i am doing connection string add first parameter will be the um, first will be the name of that connection string that we used in our application to retrieve that connection string we will use uh, it as connection string next parameter will be the provider name you can use uh, system dot uh, data dot sql client we have to type dot okay and uh, after that will be our connection string now uh, here you have to paste the co uh, connection string that you have copied from the properties of this database right click on it and paste here uh, eventually you will see uh, the errors just remove this double quotation from here and uh, from here too this will remove the errors from the connection string so this is how we define our connection string in app.configure file just save it and toggle the view to word wrap and it and uh, word wrap now here you can see that this is the name then comes the provider name along with the connection string okay so just save it and uh, we have created our connection string actually we have successfully defined our connection string in app.configure file now what we have to do is uh, we have to double click on the form now we will see the code behind that form okay we are going to um, we have good we are going to retrieve that connection string that we have declared inside the defined inside the app.configure file in order to do that we will create a string name it as connection string constraint equals to um, system dot configuration dot configuration manager dot okay it is still showing error uh, well we have to include the namespace that is using system dot configuration it will remove the error from still being okay i think we have to manually add this reference go to your solution explorer click on uh, reference and uh, right click on it and then select add reference uh, from here from the uh, click on framework and uh, you will see the list of uh, uh, namespaces uh, references actually you have to find uh, the system dot configuration here you can see system dot configuration just check this box and click ok and it will be vanished ok error is removed now what we have to do is uh, we have typed system configuration configuration manager and now the turn of connection string now uh, put brackets and uh, write the name of the connection string that we have used let's see what we have used uh, just uh, open the app.configure file we have used the name as connection string right click on it select and copy and you go to your form and paste is paste it right there paste and uh, then dot configuration uh, connection string and this is it now oh, you, you have retrieved uh, the connection string that you have stored in app.configure file into the string that has the name con, con string.
so this is how we can create a database and uh, create table if you want create stored procedure after that you can um, you can define your declare your define your app dot uh, connection string in app dot configure file and uh, this is how to, you can retrieve uh, that configuration uh, connection string from the app dot configure file and uh, now last thing is to create uh, uh, okay i think that's enough for today uh, i hope you have learned what i was trying to tell you thank you for watching the office